All right, guys, this is another FSD 13.2.7 video. Why We're, don't you clap anymore? Because we don't need to. Oh. The, uh, Premiere does it without the clapping, which is very nice. Oh, very fun. Um, we're driving to Vancouver, so a lot of this might be fast forwarded because it's the highway. So anything that is noteworthy, we'll talk about. We're in a dead end on a parking lot. Jay's nervous. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh, also that. Oh, autopilot feature is unavailable. Interesting. Might be a shorter video than you think. Super short video. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get us. No, because it should work right here. Let me like start it again. I mean, it, we did get a, a, a warning or a... Autopilot features unavailable. Yeah, FSD crashed earlier for us. It's not in the... It's an FSD. Oh, yeah. hmm. Huh. Okay, try drive forward like a little bit. Okay, I'll probably have skipped that all. And again, who knows if this even gets made into a video. FSD like isn't functioning right now. And this is a issue that this version has had for me a bunch where just the drive we were doing earlier when we weren't recording, the computer crashed. And it seems like that's the case right now. Like you'll see as we're driving, this will probably, I'll change like, see how there's garbage cans? I'm saying this to you, but also the things. If there's garbage cans and like cones, that means it's on the like earlier version mm. of FSD. Oh, does it, does it not show? No, like now it shows cones as like blobs. Oh. And yeah, it, I was gonna say I've never seen a garbage can before. Yeah, it's it's yeah, see those cones, the orange ones. No. Well, kind of tough to be a little FSD content creator <laughs> when your car doesn't function. Nope. Oh, there, it's coming. Slowly. Yeah, definitely something's wrong. For sure, there's a new version, thirteen point two. Dot eight that's out and I'm hoping that if it's a software thing would fix it mm -hmm. but no I wish I had it when we were driving downtown now worst case scenario we can use auto steer because that's what this is oh yeah that's true. that's what we're seeing is like the auto steer computer the mm -hmm. FSD computer is like off right now check back with you all <laughs> if this starts working again yeah see cones hmm. oh yeah cones all the fast forward all that Again, who knows if this video makes the light of day if we can't even get FSD working. For those saying that I should try this, I'm going to clear the camera and then recalibrate it because we're about to go on the highway too. So this is how you do it for those of you who ever would wonder. You go into service, service, and then at the bottom, uh, camera calibration. And then you re clear the calibration and then you, as you drive, you'll like recalibrate the camera. So. Yeah. Oh, interesting. The cameras are black. Oh, wow. Okay, it's like real. Or I guess because you just did that thing? I think so, yes. Oh, you gotta actually look out your mirrors? Oh. We're doomed. And then this blue circle, I don't know how clear it's gonna be in the video, but there's like a wheel with the blue circle. Like as that fills, that's your calibration happening. I thought you tried that already. I did. I'm just, I, people, people love for the answer to problems to be camera calibration <laughs> and it's not a lot of the times. So this way, at least we're proving it one way or the other, but we'll fast forward to when it's done. And if it works, that's great. If not, bye. Okay. So again, just to explain it, we're in, oh, I see. What? I didn't actually understand this. So we're, oh. our camera calibration is 92% complete. I just didn't read that. I just go straight then. <laughs> um, I guess before you get to 100, you get auto steer. And then maybe once we get to 100, it'll just click over and we'll get mm. FSD. Okay. So I actually didn't know that, to be honest with you. Yeah. So. Fun fact. The more you know. Yeah. This video is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try this one more time. If it doesn't work, this isn't. I'm the not video. exiting one more time. She's not exiting one more time. So I think so. We're to explain it again. Like in autopilot, there's the three. Uh oh. That's fine. We gotta. It's a green light. Oh, I see what you're saying. By uh oh, uh, go right maybe. I mean, you probably literally could stop. Oh, perfect. 
Um, there's the three. There's traffic aware, cruise control. Genuinely don't even know what that is. It's just bad. There's auto steer. And then there's FSD hit park. To get into FSD, you have to be in park. And then you can enable it. But while you're driving, you could go backwards to auto steer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think it worked. No? No. Because there's no steering wheel. Oh. So unfortunately... This car! It looks like it still didn't work. Okay. <sighs> this may result in a divorce, but we've pulled over for a third time to make this video work. <sighs> okay. So we're watching a Chuck Cook video. Correctly. You got a little bit of a splash screen. Okay. So... so People suggest resetting the DAS. I think that's the actual like computer. To do that, you go to the, God, what was it? Hold on. Here or the month. Essentially, you're tapping the vehicle in the lower right hand button, and you're gonna go to the software page. And on the software page, you're gonna long press on the logo, and the Cybertruck logo here or the Model 3 Y logo for three seconds or more. And then you're gonna be prompted for the password. The password is service in all lowercase. So S E R B I C E in all lowercase, and then press OK. Once Whoa. you get the password entered correctly, you got a little bit of a splash screen warning you that you're going into service mode. But just tap on. Chuck, if this fails, this is fully on you. I'm coming after your cyber truck. When you enter service mode, essentially you have this red uh, band around the entire screen, visually alerting you in service mode, kind of giving you a warning. You can see the speed is limited. Uh, and this is what they use at the Tesla service centers typically when you notice on your app that your vehicle is in service mode. To get to the driver assistance system or DAS computer reset, we have to go to the driver assist menu at the top center right here. So when you tap driver assist, you go into oh, a sub menu so you can see the driver assist icon is grayed. And then the only other option is cameras. We're going to tap the cameras menu now inside of the driver assist menu. And then when you're inside of the cameras menu, you have a lot of um, information that's available. It's kind of cool information if you've never been here before. Camera calibration, anything like that, we're going to reset the DAS. It's just a computer reset. We're going to tap that button. And now it's going to essentially give us another menu where we need to run this program. Um, and we're going to oh. tap on the run button. Good God. But now, when we tap on the run button, Hold the right we have to unlock the, the gateway. This sounds a little bit scary than it is, but essentially this is just another protection uh, that you're not doing this uh, at the wrong time. In order to unlock the gateway, it's the same on uh, all the vehicles, but the buttonology is different, of course, with a stock or a yoke. We have to hold the right turn signal down. Okay, so we got to hold the right turn signal and hold the brake down for eight seconds. This scares me. Oh, wow. I've definitely never done this. That's very cool. So a lot of this, I'll have like overlay Chuck's video. That's it? Okay. So we've reset the DAS following Chuck's video. I'm not sure how that will all look, but it's very interesting. We're going to try this one more time. I think it might actually work because there's a steering wheel. Oh, wow. Okay. Press and hold the start FSD. Oh, it's so confident. Oh, yeah. What a weird way to back up. It's backing up so much. Oh, this guy's... This is interesting. This person's U-turning. Oh. No, okay, we're good. Ooh! Okay, well, shout out to Chuck <laughs> slash... I'll put your X handle. The person who suggested I do this, because it looks like this is working. I'm curious if this will like fix the problems that I've been having. Oh gosh, there's a car. Oh, coming. I love driving Vancouver. Okay, this I don't want to be driving. <laughs> so it's not going to just crash. This is, I mean, we a human being would get in this scenario. I know, but I would have pulled over. But there's nowhere for us to pull over. Genuinely, I don't right know. Here. Let's see what the car does. Oh, see, this guy's he's turning. Now he's pulling over for us because we didn't do anything. But we didn't really have a chance. Maybe well, we. I would have pulled over there. Thank you. Very polite of him. I do. I don't like this. This is good. This is like oh. obviously take over if you need to be safe and feel safe. But I, I think it's good to see FSD 
in a lot more complex scenarios. I know, and but see it's how been you... so buggy. That's what freaks me out. But Fair. I guess it'll just go... It would just red like, hands. It's been so buggy, and now we're in very complicated traffic. And just I see like what you're firing saying. Firing it out. I see what you're saying. But, yeah. Okay, so... We have two lanes of traffic here. Is this even on? Yeah, they're both oh. recording. Okay. Oh, this will be There's easy. We'll just go right now after this. I mean, I totally get, I totally get it, but it's just funny. Like your, even your mannerisms. <laughs> you never use FSD like this with your hands. Well, like, typically we aren't. Yeah, I mean, I I never. When we come downtown, you're always driving. Sure. And we never go down in Langley. There's no lanes mm -hmm. like that where it's so only a one this, way through. Is this the only like downtown FSD thing you would have ever done? Probably, yeah. This is good. Because you always drive downtown. For sure. Yeah, like even prior to the Tesla and stuff, I'd say 90% of the time I drive. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing is because of, I feel, I'll let you speak for yourself, but you don't like driving at night, right? I, I ha can't see. <laughs> yeah. I have really bad, uh, I think it's astigmatism, but the lights shine uh, really bright across my, across my, uh, field of view so it makes driving at night difficult for me sure and with that said are you any more likely let's say I wasn't here and you had to drive downtown are you more nervous driving yourself with your stigmatism than you would be using FSD like which of the oh. two do you uh, trust more uh I mean I probably like, having FSD would be nice for that because I was driving Or just an unfamiliar, I think I was driving around Richmond or something, and I made the wrong turn or something, and it was just because I was kind of unfamiliar where I was, and I probably should have just used it. Mm -hmm. I would have been more comfortable, but I don't know, I still get nervous. I really wonder, I mean, you're effectively forced to use it as much as you are. <laughs> yeah. Because of these videos and the time that we spend together. Given that, and even your understandable apprehension that still exists for this software i literally don't know how the average human being is ever gonna i know begin to use fsd i know because if you owned this car and i didn't exist i think a you would never pay for fsd i wouldn't pay for it no and if they gave you a free trial do you think you'd even use it yeah I'd, I'd, i would try it with a free trial um but i just don't think i'd ever be able to justify the cost yeah and I also think, I mean, we have a friend that has a Tesla and like, he, they can afford FSD. They don't pay for it. Mm -hmm. And the times that they've gotten the free trial, it's made mistakes. And then he just writes it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, I mean, we've talked about the or past. Or people are just nervous trying it for the first time. So then they'll kind of disengage a lot easier than mm -hmm. it probably should have. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then they kind of are off of it, right? Yeah. I think Tesla, when you buy the car now, they oh, take you for, F oh, because the link's closed. Mm -hmm. They take you for FSD drives before you get your car. Oh. I think just in the hopes that it gives people a little bit of confidence that mm -hmm. it's as good as it is, but. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Well, very cool that that fixed it. Yeah. I feel like that's what someone at a service center probably would have done. For sure. Do you have to pay for those? The service center visit? They yeah. wouldn't... I don't think they would charge us Ooh. if that's all it was. I feel like it's just such oh, a really? hard I'm watching. breaking. Uh, I don't know. Wow. Oh, drive, drive, drive. Oh, oh, I had to break, Dev. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, that didn't fix it. <laughs> Got a little stress though there. I was just worried we were going to get rear-ended. Um, okay. Well, that's probably the end of the video. Do I not need to put my foot on the brake when that happens? No. You can just drive. Oh. Yeah, I always like. I always think I have to put my foot on the brake to, like, I guess that's just habit of disengaging the autopilot. As Fair. As and, again, like, it's a confusing thing. And yeah. in some ways I appreciate, I mean, it's good that if the computer's crashing, it should brake because at that point I don't think it would do anything 
to stop. And yeah, we could have easily got rear-ended there, though. But then you end up getting potentially rear-ended. So that's <laughs> that's going to be the end of this video. <laughs> a dumpster fire. What a what a not. Uh, I mean. I think you just have to wait for the car to look. Go to it's service. back. You ready to use I'm it again? I'm not doing it again. I tried. Um, it's, it's clearly something is wrong. Like we're going to keep doing it 16 different ways and there's something needs to get actually Pull over fixed. one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You can try on the way home. Should we just record the rest of this drive and critique your driving? Yeah, sure. She's going under the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't run the yellow. Oh. I'm not running yellow. I would have gone through here. that. I know. Right. Um, okay. Well, that's the end of the video. This taxi is really messing me up here, though. And Thanks. I think it's interesting to see Thanks, how it goes and the fact that it, like, I showed some troubleshooting steps, mm -hmm. but also the reality that they didn't fix. That's camera recalibration and a full DAS Yeah, reset. I mean, you can't say you didn't try. You cannot say we didn't try. Yeah. I appreciate that we pulled over three different <laughs> times on the highway to make what a mess this is of a video to exist. Mm -hmm. um, but that's going to be it for us. And it's just all manual driving from here. I see the... There. Oh, yeah. Um, so, see you all in the next one. Hopefully, or not, because I don't have FSD anymore. Hey, you want to enable it? No. Okay, I tried. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>